Disclaimer, this video and all its contents are Ngozi's opinion and that of some people who contributed. We're all entitled to our opinions, so enjoy. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Ngozi and on this webisode we're discussing hygiene and the different ways that I do. God I no, 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 I can't even do it with a straight face because that's how some people sound when they're speaking this, they're purported for now. Anyway, welcome to another webisode. On this one we're discussing hygiene because it's very important and I believe that a lot of people just take it for granted. You walk around acting normal whereas you are harassing people's noses, eyes and their senses of smell and you know, we need to discuss hygiene. So I'm going to go through the list very quickly. The first one, and I think it's at the top of everybody's list because it's bothersome, body odor. Sorry, sorry. Um, people that smell, that have body odor, I don't know if they know that they have body odor. Um, so, and it's so dicey that you won't tell them. Now, if it's a market woman or like your driver is smelling and so on and so forth, like in my household, um, people who help me at home, so say for example, the nanny and so on and so forth. If they smell, you tell them, ah, I don't like it. You take a shower in the morning, then I buy you antiperspirant and I make sure that you're clean because you work in my house. But people in your office and, you know, other regular people that you meet outside, like you go to an event, for example. Hi, how are you? How now? I'm well, how are you? I'm very good. And you pick up and you're like, whoa, whoa. Eh? How do I tell her? Because what I do is I just, mm, and then you now want to double peg me. How, ah. No, if your armpits can smell like that, I don't know where your cheeks have been. Now, how do we address body you don't? First of all, I pray that God will raise up an army of people who are bold enough to tell people who smell in a nice way that, ah, oh boy, now wow, you exercise. I don't know. There must be a way to tell them that right now you're a tad funky. You're not very pleasing to the nose. So there has to be a way to tell them. That's one. Two, if you feel that you have a little bit of a, <laughs> then you probably do. So. Use, first of all, use antiperspirant. When you take a shower in the morning, and first of all, bath in the morning. I think some people just don't shower, maybe they're not sure, but bath in the morning. Use antiperspirant, you know the dry one, sure. Not this new age, the parent pay things they are doing today, sure. That when you put it on, it dries. In fact, what you do is stand in front of the fan and do like this. When it now dries up, then you can put on your clothes. Body odor is a no-no, especially if you work in an office or you, do the kind of job where you have to get close to be a makeup artist. Guys, try. Carry around body spray and so on and so forth. Eh? If you have body odor and you feel like you smell, you, you probably do. Of course, right next to that, the senior brother of body odor, mouth odor. Hi. Okay. There are so many solutions. So it baffles me when people have mouth odor. Tom Tom. And now it has like three variants Tom Tom Honey Lemon, Tom Tom Strawberry, Tom Tom Raspberry, Vicks Lemon Plus, Tic Tac, Chewing Gum. Carry it around in your pocket. That is a solution. That, that is a short term solution. But in the long term, brush your teeth twice a day. Floss. You know, when I see people that regular, when I say people, I mean people who should know better. So, Educated, not educated, but people who are aware, then they have plaque in their teeth. Floss, why do you have plaque in your teeth? And then maybe you're a single guy. You now come out higher, oh, how's it going? And then your teeth have plaque. Not brown teeth, maybe you don't have money to whiten your teeth, but I mean plaque, as in the white thing, stuck, permanently stuck to your teeth. No. No. And so then those are people who don't take care of their teeth, but then... There's also, um, you've closed your mouth for a long time. So you've been working at your computer for a long time. So because you've closed your mouth, things have not moved around. So it starts to have a little bit, <laughs> you know, when you finish, when you haven't talked for a long time, just be like, <sighs> and if you smell it, tell yourself the truth. Because somebody else will smell it. So before you do that, get up. If you have no gum or any of these fresh things, glass of water, shake it around, and then move on. Then you can talk to people. Help us with this mouth. Though. It's just unfair, especially for women. Ugh. Sweating. 
in your underarms. You, you, you wear the shirt and there's this big patch nicely highlighting the color of your shirt for us. Some guys say they sweat too much and if you wear an inner shirt, then your inner shirt will be drenched and you feel like you sweat. No, you've not found the right show. Find show, use it. If you sweat under your underarms, dab, especially for ladies, then you now see me, ah, Angie, what's up? Me, under there, with sweat. You to think about it, if it's you, you go. No, sweating under your underarms is a no-no. Carry tissue around. Sometimes I feel like I'm going to sweat under my underarms when I, if I'm outdoors, the other day we went to a school um, for a community service project and we painted. I carry tissue mm. Mm. because you don't want to, it doesn't look good. It's not ladylike. It's not guy-like. It's not anybody-like. Don't sweat under, you don't. Mm. Keeping weave on for like three months, four months. It's already, you already have this weave in. Are you not hot? With the heat going on right now, you are sweating. Of course, the next thing is this. Yes, you start slapping yourself and subconsciously. But then you now keep it for three months. And in two and a half months, you say, oh yeah, I'm just going to get my weave washed while it's on my head. Then they can't scratch it. When they're trying to wash it for you, your whole head will not be moving like this because they're trying to... It's not... Take the weave off, wash your hair, get in there. You know, really get to the roots. Mm? Then dry it. And then you can put your weave back in. That's your prerogative. Don't carry your weave for four months. It, hmm, I'm sorry. Uh, then you say, my hair is not healthy. That's why I wear a weave. Your hair is not healthy because you wore it for four months and then alligators made a home on your scalp. Don't wear your weave for four months. And finally, I don't know if this is a hygiene issue, but it's a major issue. And it's a guy thing. You have five fingers and, of course, five corresponding nails on each finger. And then one is now long, especially your pinky. What's it for? What are you doing with it? Somebody told me they use it to scratch. Scratch what? No, scratch what? The pinky. It's not even the strongest one. If you're going to scratch, I would have thought maybe the thumb. Some people have the thumb. That one nail long, it just makes you, I'm sorry, it just has so many connotations, it's wrong. And then it can harbor germs, and then you not see them. Cut your nails, let them be one length. You yeah, are not a child. Just cut, don't carry one. I don't even know who started it. I don't know who to blame for it. I'm going to let that person be. If you are a guy and you are uh, guilty and you are looking at me right now and your pinky is long, find, I don't know, scissors, shears, saw, remove it. It doesn't serve any purpose. If you need to scratch somewhere, just use your hand to scratch. Keep your fingernails clean. So a very quick rundown through the list. Body odor, no, no, check yourself. Sweaty clothes. If you, if you sweat too much, I don't know what to tell you. Just, you cannot sweat under your underarms. Mouth odor, chewing gum, tic-tac, tom-tom. There's so many things you can do. Keeping your weave on for four months. And finally, guys, cut the pinky. You, I'm talking to you. Cut it. There's no need for it. <laughs> if you have any comments, please make them. Thank you for watching. My name is Ngozi, and until next time, please... Keep it real. It's too hard to try to be somebody else. So just keep it real. Take care.